and welcome to Retro Music Review UK. My name is Roger Swift. Back here today for the first video I've done in a while. This isn't a monetized channel. I do videos around my day job and other hobbies and other activities I get up to. So today we're doing a video for a song that's unique for this channel, even though we're early on video number six. This is the first time I've done a video on this channel where it's a song that I've never heard before and I'm playing it off a vinyl record for the first time. Even though you can see my CD players here, um, my vinyl record deck, I do have a vinyl record deck. I'm not an audiophile. I actually one of them weird people that audiophiles would absolutely loathe and detest because I still think a CD sounds better than a vinyl record myself. But I'm having to play this one for vinyl for reasons I'll get onto in a minute. But my vinyl record deck is behind where the camera is, so I'm going to have to go off camera and play it. But it is coming off a vinyl and off the same amp from over there. Now, this has got a bit of a backstory, this particular song, because back in the 90s, I was an avid viewer of the chart show on ITV. And if you're from the United Kingdom, the UK, Britain, and you're of a certain age, you're going to remember, and you're into music, you might remember what the chart show was. They used to, it was basically a weekly feature on ITV. In the, it was originally on Channel 4, but it later moved to ITV. TV of course and it was like um, the week's sort of chart news and music videos of digital graphics and stuff you either remember it or you don't I'm gonna I'll put a link to the Wikipedia article in the description and one of the things they used to do is they had a weekly sp what we call a specialist chart that is where it was either the indie rock or dance chart so instead of the, you had a top 10 at the end of the show that week's top 10 there's something of a fascination for me but t particularly the chart show in general particularly these indie dance and rock charts in fact YouTube has got most of the ones from the 90s on it not all of them but a lot of the 90s ones various YouTubers who have them on tape have uploaded them onto YouTube over the year, last sort of 10 years and I've managed to watch most of them again uh, I've actually got my own personal archive of 1995 to 1998 when the chart show ended so the indie chart dance chart and rock chart from 1995 to 1998 I've actually got all of them in my own personal archive not the whole chart show just the specialist chart the, the indie rock and dance charts anyway so one of the things going back looking at them now is back then there was no internet so this is the 90s a different era and you used to get these clips of very obscure songs in them like really really obscure particularly the indie chart having these really obscure indie label songs in there uh, that didn't even have music videos sometimes and they're really obscure some of them and over the years going back watching the the charts i look on youtube to see if i can hear when you only hear you'd only hear like a seven eight second clip from each song and very often i would go on youtube and see if i could find the, the song and in most cases I've been able to find them there's been two from the 1995 to 1998 era which is when I used to watch it the most that was my most era when I used to watch it there were two songs in it that I could never find they were ever on the internet or I could never I could never hear them I can pull one's a song called give me the night by laptop which I'll do in a future video when I, I've since bought the CD single of that and um, I'm going to find that in my collection when I find that in my collection I'll play it so in 1997 there was an indie chart and at number 10 in it, they played a song which they labelled as When the Wire Falls by Navigator, was the band. It played seven seconds of it with a video. It didn't have a music video. It had like this just, just like random clip they put with it. And it always, uh, going back, since someone re-uploaded that clip back on YouTube a few years ago, that might have been about 10, 8 years ago now when somebody uploaded the video. Again, I've watched it a couple of times and it's always fascinating me going, what's that song? I've never heard that one all the way through. That's obscure. And I've gone through all the channels and I've never been able to find it on YouTube, on, on the internet. I found records of it existed on Discogs.com, link in the description. And I could find a copy and I knew, I knew it existed, but I couldn't ever find like the whole song on the internet. No one had it anywhere. There was no place you could find it. You couldn't stream it, anything. I tried friends who were more into it with Spotify. They said it wasn't on there. Nothing. So I went on. I, there was no choice. I had to find a copy on eBay. And there were, according to Discogs.com, there were two sources of this song. One was the original seven-inch vinyl. It never came out on CD single. It, was, it never had a CD single release. They later did a compilation album called the the, the indie label it was song, was on was called Noise Box Records. And there was later like the band Navigator later did. They were a band. I've read a, like, a little bit of, about them. They were apparently just this obscure indie band who only lasted a few like a year and did a few support slots for for, for better known indie bands and stuff. And then they disappeared off the face of the earth. They, and they released a few singles on Seven Inch Mile on Noisebox Records, which was the indie label. Later on, they did a, the Noisebox Records put out a CD compilation of all their singles on CD. 
again, so the seven inch vinyl of the song and the CD that had all the singles on it, that's it, that song included, are like so rare, you really can't find copies of them at a good price. So what I did is I went on eBay and I did a thing where I, I said if any if a 7 inch vinyl copy of it ever comes up or that CD with it with it with that our CD album with it on ever comes up tag notify me and and I have been notified a couple of times when somebody's listed one and I, I didn't want to pay a lot of money for it. Uh, eventually the point being it's finally got to a point where the 7 inch vinyl of the song did eventually appear on YouTube as an auction. The person was, they wanted £1.20 delivery, starting bid at 99 pence. I stuck in a 99 pence bid on it and nobody outbid me. I finally won it for the price of £2.20 and it has finally arrived. So here it is, the elusive, the elusive song I've been waiting 22 years to hear all the way through. I've only heard seven seconds of it and it's upside down already. They've put it in a sleeve case here. Um, let's have a look at the, there, there, there it is. It's inside a... Um, plastic sleeve that they sent it me in. Now this is unique, I've only heard seven seconds of this, a brief seven second clip. Another thing I forgot to mention is the chart show boo booed up, on the screen in that chart, a link in the description to that chart with it in, it lists it as when the wire fall, it's not called that, it's when the wires fall, so they screwed up on the screen there with a B-side called Impossible Without dot dot dot, Noise Box Records 1997, um, Nor Norwich, apparently the record label according to the back there, Norwich, uh, you can have a look at, that's what the record, it's a very basic design of record just as the band Navigator. Now what I can tell you about this song without hearing it, I've only heard seven seconds, is it appears to be a very piano based song and exceedingly mournful from the seven second clips, it sounds like the one of the most mournful songs you're ever going to hear. So here we go, the record's automated, so it's going to go across the deck and there we go, you can see it, it's going, here we go, the crack of the record, oh here we go, okay, straight away, it's very mournful, yep. <laughs> Already it's sounding like that seven second clip I heard. Now this is an indie song on an indie label, there is no chance at all I'm going to get a copyright strike on this. But I'm not going to talk too much because this is new to me, I've never heard this all the way through. But already I'm... Yeah, there is vocals in this because the seven second clip has vocals in it. So here we go. Nintendo seal of approval, 22 years, noise box records. Nintendo seal of approval, 22 years, noise box records. You know who you are. You will keep picking me up on this. I, I can read you. Straight away, mournful, <laughs> extremely mournful. Still waiting for a vocal to come in. I know there's gonna be one. That was it, that was the seventh second clip of it I'd heard already. Very depressing actually, this is just really mournful and depressing. See, why do people say CD's better than vinyl? It isn't. See, it's stuck. The vinyl's stuck. And 
people say that vinyl is better than CD. It isn't. I'm going to have to clean this one. Not a lot I can say really, it's just that seven second clip kind of gives you an idea of what the song's all about really. It's just that for stretched out longer. It's not a disappointment or anything, I wasn't expecting it to be like amazing or anything. Do you know what it reminds me of? There was another um, indie band that appeared in the indie charts a couple of times called Low, who were an American band. Kind of reminds me of that. You ever heard their stuff, the band Low? It's like this. This is kind of concert fag lighter territory, you know, when you go when you're at a concert and you're doing that with your fag lighter. <laughs> I haven't played all the way through, the record got stuck as you know. It's not bad but I mean it's not like a it's not like bad, it's just slow mournful indie music which I kind of anticipated. See, I, normally when I'm doing a review, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. I don't know exactly what's coming with this. I mean, it's just—it's not going to change. It's not going to suddenly turn into a fresh metal song. Okay, I think that's the end of the. Yep. Yeah, no, it's not. That was the end of the song. It's not. It's just going to be more and more for stuff. <laughs> I'm generally not saying much because I'm just taking it in. <laughs> Waited two decades to hear this. Didn't think it was going to be amazing or anything, but you know, I just expected this, but. It goes on for quite a time, it's quite a long song. It, it, it would work well as um Incidental music in like a mournful documentary, wouldn't it? Like about something quite mournful. You could put the inter instrumental breaks from that in it. It would fit quite well. I think that's the end now. No? <laughs> and it's stuck again. I'll have to interfere again. No, I think that's got it. It might just be my needles dusty on the vinyl record there. But I can see from looking it's near the end of the record. 
yep, we're at the end, so I'm going to go and get that. I'm going to take that off now. And uh, I'm not an audiophile. I'll never understand these audiophiles who will absolutely insist blind that vinyl is better than CD. I don't think so. Vinyl records don't get, st you know, you don't get the dust and the crackling. You don't get them just jumping for no random reason like that. Um, so yeah, you can see from the record, there's quite a bit of dust and things on there, so that probably needs why it needs a good clean. But I wanted to do it to camera for the first time, so there we go. That was Retro Music Review UK, ladies and gentlemen. Please subscribe for more videos.